But I think sometimes in the military, being a woman, I felt like I was getting shit on all the time by different groups. I think the same thing goes for military spouses. Mm. I feel like they take a whole lot of shit because it only takes one to do something wacky and they all get painted with the same brush kind of thing. So the one who has like the sailor's wife, toughest, toughest job in the Navy, you know, that it's <laughs> one bumper sticker on that base and everybody's like, the, the dependas, bu-. when 99.99% of military spouses are fantastic, wonderful, supportive people who mm, help them. But I Whatever. think that the people that are in that 99% know that the 1% fuck it up. Like my wife would absolutely roast the shit out of somebody that says, toughest job in the Corps is being married to a Marine. Like, right. no, no, it's not. Probably getting shot at. It's a little more. It's right. a little tougher. So this one came out, and right away, th- this was a TikTok, and we're going to play the audio from it. And she says in the beginning, watch me get hate from this vi- video. Being a military girlfriend is not the same as being a military spouse. And this woman is on a military spouse high horse, and she's coming at all the military girlfriends out there who think they're on the same all level. Those little and hussies. She, oh, yeah. So, Bren. Trying to come for my benefits. I'll come for the bennies. Ben, play this clip. Watch me get hate from this video. Being a military girlfriend is not the same thing as being a military spouse. As a military spouse, we have special luxuries that you don't get as a girlfriend, especially if you only started dating him because he's in the military. If I break my arm and have to go to the emergency room, I have to get a hold of my husband. His leadership is required to know. Anything happens to me, his leadership knows. So whether I have to call the Red Cross or Fleet and Family or his chief directly, whose number I have in my phone, I have to get a hold of him. If you do that as a military girlfriend, or wear his rank, like on his parka or something, you're gonna get him in a lot of trouble. I sleep next to him every night. Going on deployment's gonna hurt me a lot more than it's gonna hurt you. I vowed my life to him. He vowed his to me. Don't hold your boyfriend to that same standard until he gives you a ring. Stop trying to act like something you're not. Can I just also say, I thought I had a handle on what TikTok was, and then watching this one, it's just basically... A longer Instagram video. I don't really know. Right. I don't, I don't I, really get what TikTok is. It started as a thing where you kind of lip sync to music and yeah. songs and stuff, and now it's de- developed. It's kind of the new Vine, I think, sort yeah, of. Yeah, but, sure. But you have more time, so she just goes off on this rant, and she wants to let them know that you know us military spouses have special luxuries that you don't get as a girlfriend. And I love <laughs> that a luxury she lists is that you have to tell the command if you break your arm or something. She's like, if I break my arm, it matters. If you break your arm. It don't matter. Yeah. You know, yeah, I because, have to tell the Red Cross. I have to but whatever. I, I don't Sharing. Know, like, I can't imagine because she talks her about her husband's chief. I don't know what I would have done if, like, my one of my Marines came up and be like, hey, staff sergeant, my fucking wife broke her arm. I'm like, okay. Well, like, yeah. Right. What's she, she doing about it? <laughs> yeah. And I mean, I know if they're in the field or whatever, they have to, like, let them know somehow. But, like, okay, come on. But this whole thing, to me, this reeks of extremely young couple – Got married extremely young. Mm-hmm. There's no oh, maturity no, here. There's no way she's older than 19. Yeah. No shot. Very young. Mm-hmm. And then also people in the comments right away are like, oh, she because she mentions they f- look through her TikTok. They're like, she's married to a nuke, like a guy on a submarine, blah, mm-hmm. blah, blah. So I, But the whole thing is just so painful to watch. And she did indeed. Some of the comments were, uh, she should call his chief and let him know that fucking turd needs to change the battery on his smoke detector. Hashtag health and wellness. Because you can hear the smoke detector going off in the background. Uh, somebody said, hopefully no one forgets to salute her on the way on to base. This is definitely that rare kind of lady who, when she goes through the gate, the MPs have to show her the same respect that her husband's rank gets How would to. they even know? Um, and then, so does anyone... Somebody else said, does anyone have my husband's commands number? I stub my toe and I feel like I should tell them. Like That's what I mean. So right. I think the wife, the spouses, they all know that like this 1% ruins it for everybody. Yeah, it's just crazy. But it, it got such a huge response. It got hundreds of responses so far. And the TikTok itself has a ton of views. And people are drinking the haterade. She is getting hate for the video. And I think it's one of those things, TikTok, man, we get a ton of them. We post a ton Mm -hmm. on our ZBT now because so many military members, they take that song about like, and I'm proud to be, and it's them, like zero sense of humor, slowly turning to the camera and tilting their like cover up in their uniform with their dog tags out, like, thank me for my service. Like TikTok (laughs) has become 
the most cringy. But I think back to when I first got in. Oh, oh yeah. I was taking selfies. I was taking Dude, mirror yes. selfies in my uniform. I I was that same boot who did that same shit. You guys are we losers. All, oh, totally. I was a giant who, loser. I mean, everybody who was ever wore a uniform did boot ass shit. I mean, that's yes. why it's so funny because you could put yourself in that position. I would kill to have videos that I took whenever I was a young Marine. Oh, my God. I would have been out of control. Like, first time I got to wear a gas mask, you better believe I would have been fucking TikToking the shit out of that. <laughs> oh, buddy. Absolutely. I, I have the goofiest. Now, in mine, I don't try to look tough. I never had any qualms that I was a hard ass. But it's me waving in a mirror selfie in full uniform, me waving with a gas mask on. <laughs> you can see my face scrunched up and a smile inside it. Me with, like, a machine gun in the background. Like, look at me. I'm with a gun. <laughs> like, Did you ever do all that cadence, shit. Kate? Did you ever do, were you ever a cadence caller? Oh, yeah. I loved singing cadence. Give me your best cadence like, right now. Not just not just like running cadence, but marching cadence, too. I, when we were at Fort Leonard Wood, I wrote my own cadence about the local strip club to Let's motivate hear it. the guys Let's as we hear would it. run along. Um, oh, I went to the one about, uh, I, I got to think about, I can't offhand right now. Can you remember any of them? But I remember I referenced like three of the specific strippers that they all loved. And the location, whatever, and it would it was like motivating. It was fun. I love, why? Why do you ask? I just I think that it would be hilarious. Like if we could go back, because I know I was like that, where I would be going down like in the hallway of like whatever barracks I was staying in, and see if I, I would practice like being able to march myself directly in through the middle of the door, so I could be precise whenever I was oh, marching no. the platoon. No, I, would be I like, never did shit like that. Fight. Never? A oh, fuck no, dude. No, I I liked oh. coming up with wacky, goofy rhyming songs, but I never, I never cared what I if I was accurate. <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> I never oh. followed the rules. Um, oh. But anyways, these TikToks. If you just type in like hashtag military in the TikTok search bar, mm -hmm. or hashtag army or navy or whatever, any branch, it is just hundreds of the cringiest I'm just, posts. I'm just always surprised by people like this that have zero self awareness and they have no idea that they sound so obnoxious and so just out there that no one actually believes anything they're saying. We did have well, the one reality, guy. Well, in reality, these people don't think that they're going to go viral. I mean, most of these people <laughs> right. that we post their shit on, they have like six followers. Right. Like I found the dude that we used to post every single Monday was like, Ooh, fellow, fellow devil dogs, it is a super motivating Monday, and we are here in North Carolina where it is raining and we are embracing the suck. Aren't we just embracing the suck? All right, sir, good morning, gentlemen. That is. If you need some motivation today, you go find your fellow Marine, and he will motivate you. Have a good day. Good morning, oh, yeah. Marines. It's another motivated Monday. <laughs> How are you feeling this morning? Like that, that dude. Uh, put that audio in too, Bren. I fucking love this <laughs> yeah. kid. This dude has like maybe 50 followers at the time on Instagram. There is no shot he thinks us, Terminal Lance, and so many of the other like big instagram accounts for military stuff is ever going to see it and the next thing you know he picks up his phone he's everywhere mm -hmm. like i think that's what these boots do they think it's just going to be their buddies at home their families they're going to see it they're going to look tough they're going to look cool they're proud of their military shit that they just got into next thing you know they're getting clowned on just boot things on reddit and all over the place <laughs> well we had the guy reach out we posted a tiktok of a guy who's looking real tough sitting in his car in his oh, uniform yeah. Yeah, and yeah. He's, the song comes on he slowly tilts his cover up and we posted it. And Privates he are reached so out. stupid. He reached yeah. out in the DMs and he was like, hey, haha, -ha, all fun and gay, I get it, but I'm getting roasted by my <laughs> unit right now. Please down. take it down. I'm getting absolutely, I mean, we took it down, of course. But oh was my that the God. guy that we told to do 20 push ups? Yes. Yeah. You guys were joking about making him do that. I went in and took it down right away. Oh, come on. Uh, but, yeah. Credit to this woman, though, too. She made, even though her points are ridiculous, she made them very succinctly. So I'll give her credit she for did. that. Yes. yes. Great order. It was very, and there was a lot of enthusiasm and a lot of vigor behind what she had to say. So Indeed. good on her. She truly believes all that stuff. Yeah. You know what? I drank the Kool-Aid. Fuck military <laughs> girlfriends. Yeah, I get that. Like, they, yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. 